everything sort of unraveled for Lynn quickly. Did you consider trying to get him out of there a little earlier? Not really. Once once he got through Dietrich and, and really, you know, a couple infield hits there and I felt like he was still okay. And once he got through Dietrich, we still liked the matchup there um, w with him right on right for, for Dean and then Rojas um, and not really having uh, multiple innings out of Greeny, Britton, or Batances. So um, once we're at the bottom of the order there, feel like we really wanted to try and get him through there and then we could turn it over to the back end if we got through six. But, um, you know, I, th I think just trying to go away with that fastball. You saw it run run across the plate, and, and Rojas put a good swing on it. What did you like about Chance Adams in that situation, the game really not too far out of reach at that point? Uh, when he came in, it was, we would have gone to Greeny if it would have got to one or better, but just, you know, with, with what we're getting ready to come up against and uh, not wanting to go too much to our high leverage guys, trying to squeeze a couple innings at a, at a chance. You're disappointed with the sloppy play there in the seventh as well. Yeah, I mean we, we, uh, you know, we didn't do a lot great down here. We we had some big performances obviously last night to be able to bail us out and and pick up a, a big win. But um, I thought overall we didn't play very good today. We got to we got to get through this one. And obviously an off day tomorrow, but um, we got to get after it starting Friday. Um, obviously these are important, and uh, we got we got to play better than we did tonight. When you have moments like that, when you aren't playing as well as you'd like the team to play, do you consider that mental lapses, or why do you think that occurs? No, I think, you know, sometimes you just, there's a, bad things can happen in the course of the game, and, you know, we made a couple of mistakes. We, you know, we didn't, for the most part, string together the kind of at-bats we did at the back end of the homestand, and, uh, you know, we're getting into that crunch time, and we got to we gotta turn the page quickly from this one and really get after it in Baltimore. What was Rich's doing that what had just what? the pit starting pitcher, Trevor Rich? What, you, what was he doing that was so had everybody off balance? Yeah, was, I mean, a really good changeup. I thought his arm speed up close on it um, was good. I thought he had a good feel for it. Um, you know, he was able to pitch up in the zone a little bit with his fastball, but mixed in enough sinkers with it. But that changeup mixed in, and I thought he had a good feel for it tonight. Get, you know, gave our guys some problems, especially the first couple times through. Is Lynn, is Lynn a guy that you can trust maybe to go deeper in the game not deeper in the game but just that you can run his pitch count up higher than most guys on your staff um you know i feel like we're at a point with most of our guys that you know any given day we we feel like if if they're going strong they can run that has been you know something that lance has done throughout his career a guy that's routinely uh been able to carry his stuff um deep into games and you don't worry as much about the pitch count as long as you feel like um, the stuff is still there. Um, so he is one of those guys that if 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 he's cruising along, um, you know, tonight was a little different in that, you know, <coughs> just just with us being a little thin in the pen and stuff, there was more of a need for him to go deep. But I think typically he's a guy that um, when he's pitching well can carry his stuff deeper into the game. I know Bert had a couple of big homers last week and he was. 0 for 10 in the series with 4Ks. He's down to 202. Are you concerned about him? What are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've seen just in and out of that, you know, authority through the zone, and and it's hard to, you know, put our finger on it. I thought, um, you know, we saw a couple of games there uh, at home where I thought he was really impacting the ball. There was some force through the zone, and then, uh, you know, here it's been a little bit more back to just. Uh, you know, not that life through the zone, and uh, you know we gotta we gotta be able to put our finger on it, help him uh, find that consistently. I know he's working hard at it, but we gotta um, you know we gotta start finding that more on a consistent basis because when he's when he's impacting it through the zone, he's obviously dynamic because with his ability to control the strike zone. But that's just been something that since he's come back has been very much in and out. Why, why was it? Why is it on the ball that Rojas hit? Um, you said he was trying to go outside with yeah. it, leak, leaked in. Why was that important to, um, you know, I mean, it looked like Rojas did a pretty good job of getting his hands into uh -huh. the, the ball. I mean, is that his kind of hot zone or? Well, I, I mean, the, the 
that. Yeah, I think when when you're going, you know, he just went away there, and you, you look at it, and you know, typically if he goes in, it's more of that sink, and you get the downward action. That one, you could tell he was going away with it, and it just it just kind of tailed back over the plate, kind of into the barrel a little bit. You have Robertson tonight, or were you going to stay away? From him? We're just staying away from Robbie tonight. Yeah. Is uh, Sonny going to pitch now that in the game one half? Two, I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll see for sure, but I, I would I would say that he is likely to pitch that uh, one of the one of the doubleheader days.